Is OpenAI preparing to debut AI agents at their upcoming developer event this November? Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. Today, we are discussing a set of information about OpenAI, some things that are actually known, some things that are just rumors. And I think the context for this is that obviously this fall, we have seen a lot of announcements from many of the big players in the space about their next big moves in AI. Now, of course, what makes OpenAI different is that ever since the launch of ChatGPT, they have been in the pole position in the industry. GPT-4 really reinforced that, and as of today, there just aren't any other models that can compete with GPT-4. Now, many anticipate that Google Gemini might be the first to actually do so or even exceed GPT-4, but as of yet, all the information we have about Gemini is mostly in the realm of rumor. Last month, OpenAI got people excited when they announced that on November 6th, they would be holding their first ever developer conference. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, in his announcement post, made sure to make it clear that there was not going to be any sort of GPT 4.5 or GPT 5 announcement, but that they would still have, quote, great stuff to show developers. The announcement that they posted on their website didn't give any more information either. They just said it would be a one-day event that would bring together hundreds of developers from around the world and that they would be previewing new tools. Now, towards the end of last week, Reuters posted some sources suggesting a few things about the update. The way that they framed it was that OpenAI plans major updates to lure developers with lower costs. So again, these were, quote, sources briefed on the plans, and the updates that they discussed with Reuters included, one, the addition of memory storage to developer tools, which Reuters said could theoretically cut costs for application makers by up to 20x. Another development would be the addition of vision capabilities to the API. Now, obviously, GPT-4 Vision has been one of the biggest feature updates of the year, and really in many ways a fundamental change to the ChatGPT experience. If you're interested, I just recently did a video about the seven categories of use cases for GPT Vision, so go check that out. But it would only make sense for those capabilities to be brought to the developer tools as well. Another update was around Stateful and Vision API releases. As summed up by Linus Ekenstam, the Stateful API will make applications more cost-effective by recalling conversation history. But the big one was this little line, the new features are designed to encourage companies to use OpenAI's technology to build AI-powered chatbots and autonomous agents that can perform tasks without human intervention. This is definitely the part of the announcement that has gotten the most attention, specifically the idea of OpenAI native autonomous agents. Now, of course, agents have been one of the biggest focuses for this show, a theme that we've been watching ever since April when AutoGPT and Baby AGI started to jump into people's attention. As of right now, of course, there isn't any real breakout winner in the AI agent space. Indeed, for the average observer, the promise and potential still far outweigh the actual applications in practice right now. Now, of course, that doesn't change the fact that there are an incredible number of developers exploring this exact space. And so the introduction of developer tools specifically focused around building autonomous agents in the OpenAI ecosystem would be a just massive development in that space. Now, the way that a lot of folks are framing this is in terms of an evolution for OpenAI, from a company that is just ChatGPT to a real platform for developers. Reuters sums it up, the new features mark the company's ambition to expand beyond a consumer sensation into one also offering a hit developer platform as its chief executive, Sam Altman, has envisioned. Now, of course, just how new this is, I think, is a reasonable question. Altman, for example, has clearly been focused on developers for some time. And indeed, one of the big questions for developers has been trying to understand where OpenAI is itself likely to compete with them. Basically, people don't want to build tools on OpenAI's APIs that OpenAI is going to turn around and offer a native version of. There is a lot of competition for OpenAI, especially when you get beyond just the consumer chatbot and ChatGPT itself. On the enterprise side, you have companies like Microsoft, Amazon, who are all leveraging their existing relationships and the very high burden of trust that comes with providing an AI platform with access to enterprise data to secure customers that might otherwise have flowed to a new startup like OpenAI. And so in many ways, on the one hand, OpenAI is dealing with that sort of competitive pressure from enterprise software companies, while they're also dealing with skepticism from developers around whether the OpenAI ecosystem is a good one to build in, given that it's not exactly clear what OpenAI will want to build themselves in the future, and given that there just isn't that much of a history that developers can content themselves with in terms of where those competitive dynamics might play out. Now, adding to that pressure is, of course, the fact that Meta has taken a totally open approach and is racing to catch up to the state of the art and give developers the ability to build things with AI tools that are close to as good as what they can get in the open AI ecosystem with potentially fewer of those concerns. The point I'm trying to make is that in many ways, this is more than a developer event that's coming up next month. 
It is sort of a referendum and reflection of, if not a shifting strategy for OpenAI, a clear rededication, at least, to appealing to that developer audience. It kind of makes sense, then, that it's happening almost a year exactly after ChatGPT was released, as OpenAI figures out what its next big act is going to be. There are other indications that OpenAI is consolidating around its focuses heading into next year. The company recently updated its core values on its website. They used to be audacious, we make bold bets and aren't afraid to go against established norms, Thoughtful, we thoroughly consider the consequences of our work and welcome diversity of thought. Unpretentious, we're not deterred by the boring work and not motivated to prove we have the best ideas. Impact driven, we're a company of builders who care deeply about real world implications and applications. Collaborative, our biggest advances grow from work done across multiple teams. And growth oriented, we believe in the power of feedback and encourage a mindset of continuous learning and growth. Now, at the end of last week, the company very publicly updated those core values. Logan, who does developer relations over at OpenAI, posted the new values, which are led with AGI focus. We are committed to building safe, beneficial AGI that will have a massive positive impact on humanity's future. Anything that doesn't help with that is out of scope. Next value is intense and scrappy. Building something exceptional requires hard work, often on unglamorous stuff and urgency. Everything that we choose to do is important. Be unpretentious and do what works. Find the best ideas wherever they come from. Third is scale. We believe that scale in our models, our systems, ourselves, our processes, and our ambitions is magic. When in doubt, scale it up. Make something people love. This one borrowed, of course, from Y Combinator. Our technology and product should have a transformatively positive effect on people's lives. Finally, team spirit. Our biggest advances and differentiation come from effective collaboration in and across teams. Although our teams have increasingly different identities and priorities, our overall purpose and goals have to remain perfectly aligned. Nothing is someone else's problem. Now, interestingly, I've seen some people suggest that this is a commercialization of OpenAI's core goals. I don't exactly see it like that. Of course, you hear echoes of that first set of goals in these newer updated goals, but frankly, the first ones were much more wishy-washy and kind of just generic about how OpenAI imagines its teams working together. The new core values, particularly with the anchor of AGI Focus, is a much more tangible and clear articulation of what this company is trying to do. To the extent that these core values are about attracting a certain type of person, which I believe that is their whole purpose, anchoring around the actual objective of the company, that AGI Focus, the fact that anything that doesn't help with that is out of scope, feels to me a lot clearer and a lot more transparent than what that first set of goals represented. Now, it's worth here as we round the corner actually checking in on what OpenAI's timelines for AGI really are. Sam Altman was recently on the Joe Rogan Experience, and when Rogan asked him what sort of timeline he imagined for AGI and how it had changed since the beginning of OpenAI, Altman said, AGI isn't the endpoint. To accomplish ASI, artificial superintelligence, that'll take us until 2030 or 2031. That has felt to me all the way through kind of a reasonable estimate with huge error bars. I think we're on the trajectory I would have assumed. Now, as the AI Safety Memes account points out, however, it seems likely that OpenAI actually thinks that superintelligence could arrive even sooner than that. Given that their super alignment team that was announced earlier this year, or as this account calls it, their AI not kill everyoneism team, set a four year deadline for solving alignment which would, of course, bring us to 2027. The AI Safety Memes account also points out that in the wake of GPT-4 Vision, prediction markets have increased how fast they think AGI is coming. Metaculous markets now put a 25% chance at AGI in the next 1.5 years. For me, I am looking forward to this November 6th Developer Day as a way to better understand, one, how OpenAI views its relationship with developers and how it sees its most important competitive challenges in the year to come, and two, for anything it suggests about changed timelines or updated senses of the speed with which things are developing. I'm sure as November 6 approaches, we will get even more leaks and hints and eventually schedules. And I will, of course, keep you posted on all of those as they come up. For now, I want to say a big thank you to you guys for hanging out and watching or listening, however you are consuming this content. If you are enjoying it, I would so appreciate it if you would take a time to leave a rating or a review. Silly as it may seem, it actually makes a huge difference for people discovering the show. And until next time, peace.